Hello guys, what's going on? It's Bro Alden here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a piano house chord progression, a piano house draw, whatever you want to call it. Now, before we start this video, I'm going to show you guys how it sounds so you can actually kind of like get more interested in how I made it afterwards. And I will show you a time lapse of how I made it. And then at the end, I'll just explain everything one more time. So for you guys that already that can see the, see everything I did in the time lapse, then good for you. And I will also leave like, or actually you can see it here. It's the chord progression of the track. So if you guys want to like uh, screenshot this and copy this, you you feel free to do that. You know. Uh, and yeah, let's get cracking with the track. Okay, let's get into the time lapse. Okay guys, hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse there. Uh, now, let me explain to you guys, for you guys that didn't really understand what went on in the time lapse. So the first thing I did was I fired up the Korg M1, this plugin right here. Uh, with this plugin, I'm using a preset, piano preset of course, uh, called the Mix 2. The Mix 2 is widely used in this genre. You can hear it almost every single piano house track. Uh, almost a lot of 
Deep House tracks. You know, a lot of Deep House is made with this plugin. Um, after I made the, when I made that, it sounded like this. So it sounds pretty good, right? But if we would just have this one, it would sound like this. I needed to layer, of course. I needed to layer some other uh, pianos. So the first thing I did was I layered in the uh, giant with the preset hard and tough. Uh, this one right here. Then I added actually the normal like Logic uh, EXS24 plugin with the Steinway Grand Piano 2. Now along this sound like this, it sounds actually pretty flat, pretty small. I think it's really like funky, really like cool sounding so I just decided to drop it in there um, and then one of the most probably the most, most important elements here is the uh, the two nexuses they're kind of to get that ambient sound that like wide sound surround sound feel if you want to call it that and just you have to create some more life into the track with all that, it, the whole thing will sound like that. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. The whole thing will sound like this. So then, I just explained this chord progression kind of thing for you guys real quick. So, um, what it just, what it basically did was just create like a normal. Uh, like deep house chord, you know the uh, I think they're called the seven par parallel chords or something like that, and I just kind of went up a note, went down, and went up two notes, went down one note, and then went down two notes. Uh, and the reason why this track like is kind of more special, uh, and it, it gets that extra vibe is because of these little notes right down here. And now those really help with the groove in the track. Like, uh, I can just show you guys how it will sound without them. Uh, let's see here. I'm on the chord now. this it sounds a lot better so yeah that's how I did the pianos uh, as far as the bass goes um, I didn't redo it I didn't create like any special bass for this one. The only thing I really did was use the basic sign, uh, sign bass from an uh, Nexus 2. For drums I just used uh, regular 909 kick, regular 909 open hi-hat, uh, a clap I had in my uh, sample collection, and last but not least I added some strings. Also the M1 to make it just sound a bit more ambient as I said before, and just to make it a bit richer. With this, what makes this a bit special is that I actually just cranked the bus to, you know, with uh, the space designer on it. I just create, cranked it all up to 100% or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, just without it, it sounds kind of like... So it sounds pretty good, right? But we can add this, it's not like you're in heaven or some shit. Right? And all together, it sounds like this. And yeah guys, that's basically how you make piano house, how you make a piano house drop, if you will. Um, and if you guys want to see me making another drop, if you want to see me continuing making the track, if you guys want to see something completely 
completely different, then just leave a comment down below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been your boy Aldens and I'm out.